Hello, Kresge Frosch. Uh, my name is Ben Leeds Carson. I'm the provost of Kresge College, and I'm really excited to be a small part of the education that you're beginning at UC Santa Cruz this fall. I'm introducing myself to you now because I want to help you prepare for the Kresge core course, Power and Representation, and I especially want to help you get started on the summer assignment. In case you missed the email that was sent to you by Kresge Advising at ucsc.edu on July 13th, please make sure you go back and read that carefully. But I'll explain things a little more in this video message. In case you're wondering what a provost is, first off, I'm a member of the faculty, in my case, a composer and musicologist in the music department. So I'm really a professor like any other, except that I have the great honor of being able to collaborate with all kinds of faculty and staff to help create uh, an intellectual and academic home for you at Kresge. And by the way, I, I've got my music professor hat on for most of this week and last, which is why this video is coming to you from Seoul, South Korea. I'm not sure if you can see some of that city uh, in the background here. Um, I'm very lucky that the Ministry of Culture here has brought me and nine other composers to Seoul to make music collaboratively with Korean musicians. Uh, but soon I'll be back in Santa Cruz getting ready to welcome you to campus and to start a great new year. Now, I'm sure you have lots of questions about Kresge 1, and in this video I have time to tell you a little bit about it, uh, but you'll get your questions answered more when you arrive in the fall. Um, this is a course with two purposes. The first one I like to call University Discourse, which means we're going to help you understand the basics of how dialogue and exchange of knowledge works at universities. We're going to build up your academic literacy, and especially build up your skills in university-level reading and writing. The second purpose is to bring us together as an intellectual community by establishing some common readings and some shared questions. Uh, we won't always agree on what these readings mean or how the questions should be answered, but I hope there'll be a sense of common ground for Kresge, not only this fall, but as you learn together in the years to come. We call this course Power and Representation because Kresge's committed to questioning what it means to have power and questioning how individuals and communities are represented in the world, in journalism, in social media, in the arts, uh, and in our everyday lives. So we're going to work toward these two purposes, uh, academic literacy and the theme of power and representation, first by bringing you together in seminar groups with our great faculty. That's where your main coursework in Kresge 1 will be discussed and second by facilitating your collaboration with other students on a final project that you'll learn about when you arrive. Uh, and finally, by bringing all of us together in sh a short series of public lectures that will start in orientation week when you get here. So to get ready, we're asking you to put aside about two or three weeks of time this summer where you'll spend a little bit of time every day practicing some new approaches to interpreting a variety of media. Uh, the assignment will be graded as approximately the first 10% of your fall quarter course, but it's important for the even more important reason that it starts us off on a great intellectual journey together, and it will lay the foundation for the assignments that you need to do when you arrive. So in the emails we've been sending you, you got a link to that summer assignment and everything you need to know about the assignment is available to you there. Uh, if you read those instructions carefully, you'll be on your way in no time. Uh, but just a quick overview here. Uh, as you'll see, the assignment comes in three parts. Uh, in the first part, you'll get some brief materials about strategies for effective learning and you'll reflect on your own learning styles. In the second part, you'll read essays by Bell Hooks and Eric Liu, and you'll listen to Mr. Liu's TED Talk about power and representation in our everyday lives. And you'll reflect on their different notions of how power works in the world. Uh, and in the third part, you'll read some conventional journalism and watch a few music videos. And I hope these will provoke you to think about what you learned in the first two parts. In all three of these parts, you'll be taking notes and reflecting on what you learn. Uh, we're not asking you to write an essay this summer or read a big novel or anything, but you will find that there is a lot to do in this assignment, so I do want to encourage you to get started now and to make sure you've planned your time wisely. Last thing, 
as you're working, you might have questions and you might even wonder sometimes if you're going in the right direction. Um, if you really don't know how to move forward, feel free to email me and let me know. But the answer to most of your questions is press onward. For this assignment, like most college assignments, you'll get amazing feedback from instructors who are excited to see your process. But the process takes time and it starts with you. So if you take notes and if you write about what you're learning as clearly and honestly as you can, you're doing it right. Soon we'll all be together in Santa Cruz and the conversation will continue. Uh, so that's all for now. Once again, I'm really excited to get started on this class with you and I wish you a great summer of living and learning. Okay, bye for now and see you soon.